our Dumbo. But I also knew maybe it's a trick, you know, why is he asking me? <laughs> well, Dumbo, that's too obvious, so it must be up bow. But how can you start da da you can So finally he's waiting, you know. And, and so I, I feel like 20 minutes go by and I finally I say, Dumbo? And he goes, I would never use a bowing like that. <laughs> So I thought, well, I guess I can still, you know, maybe resign quickly. <laughs> but then he asked me another question later, and I, I got that one right. So. <laughs> but, you know. And of course, Mr. Stern had been playing the ghost trio for 20 years in his trio. So he had, he had his own set of answers. <laughs> The bowling, by the way, was bump ba da da bump ba da bump bump ba da da bump. I wouldn't have thought of it. Any other questions? But, by the way, when I mentioned C minor Beethoven, uh, I think three of you are playing the C minor piano trio, aren't you, uh, uh, of Beethoven? And that's the one piece I left out of the long list of C minor Beethovens. And that's also very much in, in the spirit, although it's, it's an early C minor Beethoven. I have another question. <laughs> what if somebody tells you to do something that is totally opposite of what's printed on the page and I just don't feel like doing it? <laughs> well, I would say in that moment, um, it's worth trying. <laughs> uh, because, you know, there's a certain human interaction going on. Um, but ultimately, um, the, the printed page is an interesting thing, and we'll talk about this on uh, Tuesday. Um, I do a session on interpretation. And Tuesday, we'll actually have a score, and we'll listen to some recordings, some very different recordings of chamber music and other works, and try to figure out where the truth lies. The printed page isn't a, an absolute, um, I, and, and neither is is pulse an absolute? We're very tempted to, to want absolute answers. And, and there are times and ways in which an intelligent departure from the printed page makes sense. And, and so again, you know, in the end, one must find where that line lies. Um, Mr. Stern had the least patience in his chamber music coaching for saying, I feel it that why he'd say why are you playing it this way? Um, you know that was his favorite sort of provocative question, and he didn't have much patience for I feel it that way. Not because he put less value on the emotional content, but it was too easy and general an answer. He wanted active thinking uh, 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 about it, and so. You know, I think, I think there's room for an intelligent departure from the print, printed page, but it has to be for a reason. Um, he, would, he would get extremely unhappy if somebody was departing for, for, from the printed page and the only answer was, I feel it that way. So watch out for that. Don't give us that. <laughs> in our sessions. Um, well, can you talk to them about the importance of why are we requesting all of the different conditions that we need to bring? Well, having just said what I did about the printed page, <laughs> it is important to have the best quality printed page in front of you so you're working with information that at least most closely matches uh, what was written, including sometimes corrections of errors. And, and there are many, many it, it's, it's a very tricky um, uh, feel that requires as much thinking as scrutiny sometimes as plain. Um, because in some cases, um, 19th century editions of Brahms, for example, I think that I'm going to look at the faculty, are mostly accurate. Um, because Brahms was involved in those 19th century editions, and the editor was a man named Hans Skull who worked closely with, with, with Brahms. In, in other cases, there are wild differences between editions in, in music of Beethoven and Mozart and, and, and others. 
So you can't even make a blanket statement of use the most recent edition, it's the best. Um, one really has to, to think about it. Um, in general, I think one can get away with looking at two or three publishers who do work very hard and in a scholarly way to try to have the most accurate representation. But even their newest isn't necessarily uh, the best. Um, so it's the, 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 the issue of questioning um, becomes um, just as much at, at taking a look at the page in front of you and, and, and saying, does this make sense? And, and I suspect you've already had lots of questions from the faculty and, and will continue to stop him and saying, you know, why do you think there's a sports under there and not there? What's, you know, what, is that a mistake or is that deliberate? You know, when this reappears, um, that kind of thinking and questioning.